Hey guys, it's Tina with The Verge. I'm here with Phil Molino, who is president and CEO of Sony Electronics America. That's right. uh, and we are standing in front of a very impressive television. Can you tell us what's going on back uh, there? It'd be my, my absolute pleasure. We, we, we've just today announced this uh, Sony XBR 84 inch 4K TV. It's our first 4K TV. As you can see, first of all, it's a large TV, 84 inch uh, across on the diameter. But the key here is that this picture you're seeing is four times the resolution of full HD. So four times the resolution of full HD, which gives us the ability to give this a completely immersive picture. Yeah. So let's, you've launched a number of other products here. Yes. Um, you've got the new tablet and a couple exactly. of new cameras. I just want to talk about the camera, uh, the tablet, I'm sorry, very briefly. Yes, indeed. Um, so you had a line of previous tablets, one of which had a very like, odd form factor, the, the clamshell. I've noticed you, you've iterated on one of those, the standard sort of, you've got the new Tablet S, yep. which sort of iterated from the previous design, and the other design seems to have been kind of set aside. Is there a reason for that? So we, we, we always work and listen with the consumer. That's mm -hmm. at the heart of our innovation and, and, and our feedback. So. Uh, the clamshell type, although it's very innovative, it, it seems that the consumers weren't embracing it to the level yeah. that we expected. Um, so we put our focus and our energy into creating a beautiful new second generation tablet. Yeah. Uh, we call it the Tablet Xperia. Um, it's thinner, it's lighter, it's a beautiful design. We got a full range of accessories yeah. and it's differentiated. Um, let me give you one example. We have a unique app on there that was developed by Sony, which allows you to see visually what's on your TV satellite box. Mm -hmm. So rather than scrolling through a thousand channels and trying to find something, this gives you a vi visual picture of what's on. And through our IR remote control, uh, you can then choose what you want to watch from the tablet and throw it to the TV and it will change the channel. The IR control stuff. Yes. That are you going to integrate that more deeply with the television than just IR? Because it seems like you want, when you do this swipe, you're still just sending a channel change command over IR. One point we, we perhaps didn't explain fully, but we have a macro capability. Mm -hmm. And a macro capability with the IR remote control allows you to control multiple devices. No, I get that, but it's still yeah. IR, which is, you know, you have, a, you have a tablet which has an IR blaster in it. That's correct. But you also make TVs, you make receivers. Are you yeah. going to do a more direct control that is beyond IR? So the well, tablet might know what's going on with the TV, what's right now. So we don't plan that at the moment because what we found on the consumer feedback that we've got, they, they really appreciate the IR remote control. Yeah. They can put five or six remotes away yeah. and just use our tablet to control their home entertainment. And with this smart app where you can choose your content and throw it, yeah. it works beautifully. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So we'll get more consumer feedback and if uh, we see the need and there's demand there, of course we'll in innovate again. Will that app ever let you throw a video from the tablet? The video that's playing on the tablet to a Sony TV? Yes, it will. Personal video okay. you can uh, throw from the tablet to the TV. Okay. Not just Sony TV, but it's, other it, TVs. It's all on, it's, it's all on the, the channel changing app or is it two different apps? It, it's a separate function because if you in, ingest personal video, it sits in the video app okay. itself. But you can throw it anyway, and it, it understands I what you're trying to do. I only ask those questions because I, I think the tablet is probably the future of living room control. I agree with and you. It, needs, uh, it just seems like all this stuff is getting integrated. That's correct. And, okay. But right now it's in silos kind of on the app. Um, I, th I think not so much silos. But as an example with a video, uh, we have one icon on our tablet yeah. that if you press that icon, it will move whatever you're viewing, whether it's YouTube or content on the internet or your personal content, it will move it to the TV, throw it to the TV. By the way, did I mention our tablet is splash proof? <laughs> did I so mention you, that? So like, it's unique. You throw your hands up in frustration, your drink falls over. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, I don't think we have any consumers doing that. But if you're, you, if you're in the kitchen with it, yes. and you, you're cooking and you're looking at a menu or yeah. looking at content and you spill on it, you're not going to have a problem. Yeah. Uh, you could even read books in the bath. I don't recommend it in case it drops in. Yeah. But, you know, it, it is splash proof. And, um, we're saying five gallons per minute mm -hmm. for five minutes and it will survive. So it, it's pretty cool. I'm going to have to try that out. Please do.